friends, I'm excited to create a watercolor koi fish pond with you. Um, we're going to start with a pencil, eraser, and a sharpie, and then we'll move on to the watercolors and the salt. Um, so let's first sketch out our koi fish. Okay, so we're going to start with um, a big one that's kind of swimming downward. It's going to kind of look like we're peeking over into the pond. So we're going to see the top of them. All right, so the first one, we'll start by, let's make the letter U. So we're going to make the letter U right here. You can sketch very lightly. I'm just trying to make it dark enough so that you could see it. But if you do it lightly, then you could erase it easier. Okay? And then I want the body to kind of curve. So I'm going to do this side like that. And then go this way. Okay? Almost looks like the shape of a teardrop. See, even Miss Jen uses the eraser sometimes. <laughs> Get the shape how you want it. That'll be our first one. And then let's make a little tail, wavy tail. My tail kind of just falls off the page. And then my next one, its head is going to be swimming that way. So I'm going to start with that. Now it's an upside down letter U, right? and its body is curving this way. Okay. And I'll make one of the tails falling off the page. Okay, I do want a little um, lily pad, so I'm just gonna make a little shape like this. My lily pad is green. It's going to be green and it's falling off the page. And then I'll make another little lily pad down here falling off the page. Okay. So I'm going to give you a moment to do any erasing you need to before we use the marker get it just how you want. When you're ready, we are going to outline all of our pencil marks. I'm going to make some fins coming out from here. Here's one. Here's another one. A couple of lines on my tail. And then let's outline the next one.
wavy lines. And then let's give him some little fins here. Outline my lily pads. And then let's give him a couple of black spots. So I'm gonna give him a black spot here. And you can put your black spots wherever you want. Um, because I don't think there's any two fish that look exactly the same. We're just going to color those spots in, make sure there's no white spaces in there. make a little wavy line on the back that could be like the the top fin You can give them eyes. We can give our little friends some eyes. I did a few lines on the lily pad too. Okay, so I'm going to give you a moment to go ahead and finish outlining and making your spots. As you could see, I didn't make a lot of spots, just a couple. And then we are going to move on to our watercolors. Okay, so I'm going to start with yellow. Put a little yellow of the liquid watercolor on my brush. And I'm going to add some both of these okay and now I'm just going to dip my brush even though it has yellow on it I'm going to dip it into the orange and we're going to do the tail We're going to do the body, the rest of the body in the orange. Okay. 
And now that I barely have any paint left on my brush, I'm just going to go over this yellow a little so it's not such a bright yellow. I like the way that looks. Do the same thing with this one. I don't really have any paint left on my brush, so I'm just going to kind of drag it onto the yellow. And it's just going to make it not so, so bright. Okay, now I ran out of orange, so I'm putting more orange on my brush. Be careful near the eye. And again, now that I really don't have any paint left on my brush, I'm just gonna actually let's wipe some of it off over here. Same thing on this side, got to do the tail. And now that I don't really have much paint left, I'm just going to lightly go over that yellow. And what I really like about watercolors is we can get even more variations of orange by just doing a second coat of orange on just some of it. So I'm just gonna put a little more orange here. A little bit more on the tail. Maybe, yeah. So you can just Put a touch more orange in only some places, do that little second layer, and then you'll get even more colors going on. Okay. Alright, now that I'm happy with my fish, I'm going to wipe my brush off right on the table like this. And I'm going to dip it in the yellow, put a little bit of yellow on here. And now, dirty brush is going into the green. Remember how I told you I like all those different shades in there. So that's why I put some yellow first, then green.
Okay. I'll let that dry for a minute. before we move on because the next step we use salt and I don't want the salt effect to happen on the fish or the lily pads. I only want it to happen in the water. So that's why this needs to dry. Okay, so I'm gonna just wet some of the paper and I must have still had a little bit of green on my brush but that's okay because we're gonna be adding green and blue to the water. Not putting it everywhere, just some places. So that actually works out good because you can see it. All right, now I'm gonna dip my brush in the blue. And where I put that water, I'm just gonna add a blotch of blue. And now we're gonna spread it out. Be careful not to paint on top of your fish. But we want right up against that black line. Oh, sorry friends, you probably heard that. I am painting during a thunderstorm. Hopefully it's sunny where you are today painting with me. But art is fun for rainy days too. Okay, so I got all these different shades going on. And now I'm gonna put just straight blue near it. Okay, now while the paint is, so I almost forgot to mention this to you, while the paint is really wet, like this, you're gonna take some salt and sprinkle it right on. Oops, that was green, I'm using blue. some salt. I just put a little more water over there before I sprinkled the salt. Now be careful, you don't want to put like, too big of a puddle because then it drips everywhere and it takes forever to dry. So somewhere in the middle, not too wet, not too, too dry or else the salt won't work. But you'll see in a minute what starts to happen. What's starting to happen already? If you look at the top corner, all the little white looks like bubbles under the sea. Cool.
that to start. I'm saving some space. I'm not doing it all this blue because I am going to mix like a green blue in here. More like that color up there. So don't get too carried away and paint the whole thing. Try and stay with me. So blue and salt. All right. Now I'm going to put some green. My brush is already dirty with blue, so I'm putting green on it. Green and blue on my brush. And soft. water. If you want some lighter shades, just put some water on your brush. Today you're painting with me to the sounds of Mother Nature. I'm sure you could hear it. It's a pretty loud storm. For these other colors, I'm just putting blue and green on my brush, sometimes water. So make sure all your spaces are filled in. Do any touch up where you need to. I don't like to put my brush on top of the salt, so I'm only going in the areas where I feel like maybe there's like a little white space I wanted to fill in. And then if you lift your painting, you can just tap, tap, tap get some of the excess salt off and here it is my two little friends the koi fish I hope you had fun with me today and I will see you next time have a great day bye <laughs>